Okay, friends, we are on the last week of working on our science project. So bear with me. This is going to be kind of a long video, but this is going to be really the only new video I share with you um, this week because Tuesday you're going to work on uploading your video and filming your video. And then Wednesday and Thursday are going to be more of like work days or anything you need to do to catch up on your project so it is done by Thursday night, okay? So it's due Thursday night. Everything should be done by then because on Friday, what we're going to do is you are going to give compliments and kudos um, to other people in your class and the other fourth grade classes, okay? So it really does need to be done by Thursday, okay? So here's what we're going to focus on today. I'm going to talk about what should be in your video, okay? I've been getting a lot of questions of how, what, what should I talk about in my video, okay? So it just depends on your project again. So if you're doing an experiment, um, you can video yourself doing your experiment if that's possible. I know some of your experiments have happened over time, so that probably wouldn't work for you. But if your experiment is like a chemical reaction or something, or you think um, people would enjoy seeing it, um, you can always do a video of yourself doing the experiment, and then you can talk about your experiment that way, okay? If that's not possible, um, that's totally fine. You can just go through your slides, okay, and talk about what you learned through your experiment. Remember, you do not have to go through every single slide. Just talk about, like, the main points of what you learned, okay? Definitely don't read from your slides. Just have a conversation with us and tell us what you learned through this project, okay? All right, if you are doing a demonstration or a research project, um, this can be a video of you doing your demonstration, or again, you can just go through your slides and you can explain to us what you've learned. So your job is to really teach us um, everything you've learned through our research. Okay. All right. And if you're doing an invention, it would be really cool if you could take pictures and videos of your invention. And it'd be also super cool if you could um, have people using your invention. Um, you would tell your audience what you learned while creating your invention. And again, you can go through some of your slides and present your information that way as well. Okay, so that's what should be in your video. Just pretend like you're getting in front of our class and you're giving a presentation just like how we normally would do if we were at Buffalo Ridge. Okay. All right. And then just keep in mind that your video should be under three minutes. So if you are working with a partner, maybe your partner takes half the slides and you take half the slides. Or if you're in a group of three, you divide them three ways. And then just make sure that all the videos add up to around three minutes, okay? If you're um, entering the science fair, they're very strict on it. So just make sure your all of your videos are under three minutes. If you're not entering the science fair and you happen to go over a little bit, that's completely fine, okay? Don't worry about that. All righty. And just make sure to, before you film your video, you should have rehearsed it quite a few times out loud so you know exactly what you're saying. And that way you don't have to, you know, mess up in the middle of it and then have to refilm it. Obviously, if that happens, it happens. That's completely fine. Um, but that's just a good tip. Make sure you rehearse before you actually film. Okay. So um, I'm going to reiterate with what Mrs. Harmon said during our Google Meet um, last week, but um, your video should somehow be able to get into your drive. Now, if you're using the app Screencastify, I'm actually using Screencastify right now to make this video. Um, it's super easy. So when you use Screencastify, it goes directly into your Google Drive. So that relieves the headache of getting it to your Google Drive, okay? Now, if you do not want to download the Chrome app, Screencastify, remember you have to be on the Chrome browser to do that. You can take your video from a phone, that's completely fine. It is a little trickier to get it to your drive though, just a heads up on that. Um, your parents may have to help you with this, but you can airdrop it to your drive. Um, some phones have a Google Drive um, symbol when you send your video to somewhere, so you can send your video to Google Drive, just make sure on your phone that's being sent to your Google Drive and not your parents' Google Drive. 
Um, if it's small enough to email it to yourself, you can try emailing it to yourself and get it to your drive that way. Okay. And like I said, if that's all too confusing, I would really recommend you using Screencastify. It's just a really simple app to use. Okay. All right. The most important part of this whole video, and I'm going to say it all this week, is you have to share your video or else we can't see it, which would be such a bummer that you went through all that work to do your video and then we couldn't even see it. So um, I know Mrs. Harmon showed you a different way on the other video that I'm going to post to this checklist. So I recorded um, when Mrs. Harmon was showing us on our Google Meet last week, I recorded that. So I will post it on our checklist as well underneath this video. So you can watch that video for more detailed instructions on how to do this. But long story short, if you open up your video, you click these three dots here. You'll see share. Okay, and again, you have to do this or people cannot see your video. So I, instead of typing in emails, because we don't want to type in everyone's email, that's way too much work. All you're going to do is you're going to do get shareable link. Okay, you're going to go to advanced. And then you need to change this. So change to on anyone with the link. Now notice how I didn't do anyone at DCSD with the link you need to choose on anyone with the link. So, because if someone is signing in um, to do their work and they are um, not on their DCSD account, they won't be able to see it, okay? So you need to make sure that you are um, choosing on anyone with the link. So if you take anything from this video, please take that you need to do this or else we cannot see your video, okay? So please, please, please make sure that you do on anyone with the link. And if you're working with a partner, this is whoever's drive the video is in. So if I'm working with Mrs. Hartman and Mrs. Hartman has um, our videos, she will have to do that in her drive. Okay? So it has to be done from your drive. It cannot be done from the Google Slides. Okay? So notice I'm not in any Google Slides right now. I am just in my Google Drive here, okay? All right, and my last thing I wanted to share with you is please make sure you are looking at Mrs. Hartman and I's comments. So we left the date, okay, right here, and a comment for you, okay? A lot of yours, we just say, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. If you have a red comment, then that means we're just a little worried that you're not going to be able to finish in time or you might have to just share your Google Slides with Mrs. Hartman and I, okay? Because we can't have, or we can't see your Google Slides right now if you have a red comment, okay? So either we're falling just a little bit behind or you need to give Mrs. Hartman and I edit access, okay? All right, so keep checking back on this document. And then on Friday, um, I believe it will be Friday, um, we will be giving each other's um, Google Slides compliments and kudos. So you'll be able to read all of your awesome compliments from all of your awesome work, okay? So make sure you check back here Friday or next Monday and take a look at your wonderful comments from all of your friends. All right, guys, I cannot wait to see your videos. This is um, really the last thing you need to do for your project. Just some final touches, and then we're good to go. So just keep in mind that your science project is due Thursday, May 14th, um, that evening, okay? So just make sure everything is done by Thursday, May 14th, and you should be good to go. Can't wait to see your projects. You guys are doing an amazing job. I'm super, super proud of you.